are we all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I still have not found the clip to my microphone. I'm sorry. Today's video is a really, really exciting one. My boyfriend is sweet and kind and loving and funny. He's so thoughtful. He's also one of the most intelligent people that I have ever met in my life. He is all of these amazing things, but one thing that he is not is an artist. My boyfriend is more a man of science. And he does things that I do not even remotely understand. But he doesn't really know much about art either, except for what he knows I've talked about or what he's seen in my videos. So I thought today it would be really fun to have him go to an art store with me and pick out art supplies. He's then going to give me a challenge of what he wants me to actually make with the art supplies he picks up. So we're going to be making some art today. So yeah, if you haven't already, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up because it really does help out. And if you're not subscribed, feel free to click it, it's free. And before we start, I wanted to let you know that today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. I will talk a bit more about them later on in the video, but for now, if you're an artist or you want to become an artist or you want to learn a new skill in art, photography, business ownership, click the link in the description to get one month of free unlimited classes on Skillshare for the first 1,000 people only. And again, I'll talk about them more later on in the video, but for now, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And let's get started picking out the art supplies. So what is your experience level with art? Basically zero. Did you ever take an art class in school? In high school I took like one. My art teacher had us draw stuff that she'd pull out of a dumpster. Like a shopping cart tipped over and like a lamp sticking out of it and a, a garbage bucket and this random crap all just dumped on a table and we'd have to draw on that. Did you get good grades in art class? I got like a B. I'm gonna try to give you like some sort of challenge. What are like chalk? Do you ever do like chalk art? Uh, no. Galaxy glitter. How about this? You ever do art with that? Do art with the price checker? Yeah. No, I haven't. Okay. I don't think they'd appreciate me making art with that. Multi-purpose brush set. $7. Okay, yeah, good choice, good choice. With, uh, what are those, scraper thingies? Scraper thingies, yeah. How about some unicorn spit? That? What the? Should I have you paint on a rock or something? <laughs> I like the color of this red. That is a nice red. What if I make you paint on a pizza paddle? I do like paint on wood. But I mean, that'd be like terrible with the glitter paint though. Probably a paddle like you said for boats, but pizza paddle. So he asked me if I wanted to use a marker or paint. And I said, well, if I want to use markers on that, it would have to be a paint marker. That's the only hint I gave him. <laughs> this is water-based, it doesn't say paint pen. No? I'm confused. I don't understand any of this. If you look at the back of them and see what they say you can use them on, usually it'll say the type of material you can use. I don't want to give you too many hints because this isn't supposed to be something that I would pick up myself. This, this is most art, craft, and hobby materials, so this one seems the best. Yeah. Is this enough colors? Well, what's the difference? What is this? Oh, there's more in this one. <laughs> $55. <laughs> The same thing, and there's 36 of them. No? No, that's you can. You said, oh. Yeah, no, it's the, the watercolor pens. No, I shouldn't be influencing you. No, just pick up what you want. Okay, I have two bags of art supplies here. I gave my boyfriend, who is stood right here, just slightly off camera. Hi. He picked up all of these art supplies. I gave him about a $100 budget, and he did a really good job. So first we have this. It's definitely an ore, but I thought it was a pizza paddle. So what do you want me to do with this? I want you to paint a pizza on it. You want me? Okay, I have to paint a pizza on this boat oar that looks like a skinny pizza paddle. <laughs> this is fine, it's got a nice little thing. Uh, I have no idea how much this was, but this is what it looks like. I do like painting and making stuff on wood. So you pick up the galaxy glitter. Oh, galaxy glitter. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> this I'm guessing is like a top coat. I don't think it's gonna be very pigmented, but it looks like it's gonna be pretty. You have nice greens and pinks and blues to work with. I do for the pizza. Yep. That's blue pizza. Blue pizza. <laughs> mm. Okay, next up we have unicorn spit. I like the name. That's the only reason you picked it up? No, it's for the pepperoni. The pepperoni. I mean, to be fair, that is a very pretty 
red. It is a gel stain though, but it says it works on wood, glass, fabric, stone, and ceramic. So I don't know if it's just like a paint, but it also says it stains deep into the pores of bare wood. So we'll try it. Always wanted to own an art supply called Unicorn Spit. So back to Skillshare briefly. Now I'm not sure if people know this, but Skillshare actually has classes from some of your favorite creators. And yes, the link in the description gives you access to all of them for free for a month. So definitely take advantage of that while you can. Now I actually just found this class from a fellow YouTube artist called Alika. And she just recently made a class called Painting with Acrylics, Create an Abstract Portrait. In this class, she gives advice, tips and tricks on how she uses acrylics to make beautiful, abstract, realistic portraits. And her work is really Really, really stunning. Skillshare is basically an online learning community for creatives where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. It's perfect for creative people, lifelong workers, working creatives, beginners, pros, dabblers and masters. Skillshare classes have a combination of video lessons and a class project so when you complete the class you can post your project which will be then seen by the teacher. You can get feedback from them from the community of millions and the classes are always around 60 minutes in length with short lessons to fit any schedule. The best part is there are new premium classes launching all the time. Plus, if English is not your first language, their entire catalogue of classes now has subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. And thank you so much once again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Then we have, okay, so we actually have some decent paintbrushes here. And I say that because I know that he also picked up these paintbrushes, which, seven dollars. These were seven dollars? That was vastly overpriced. These, I mean, you can literally see all of the hairs. And the way that the glue, it's all like glue and stuck. I can literally see the glue on this paintbrush. Lovely. It's not moving. It's got frosted tips on the paintbrush. I just thought of Justin Timberlake in his denim <laughs> outfit. <laughs> so yeah, we do have the most horrible paintbrushes. A well, I do appreciate that you got these. I will use everything you gave me, but I'm very glad that he picked these ones up. Next up, I'm very proud of you. He picked some very good ones. These were Poskas, and I know you did have a bit of trouble knowing what was a paint pen, because to be fair, this doesn't actually say paint pen on it anywhere. And yeah, he picked up Poskas because he recognized that I've used them before. I actually need some of these colors, so that was good. We got some Poskas, that's awesome. And last but not least, we have a paint palette for our galaxy glitter. And the unicorn spit. And the unicorn spit, yeah. And then what was it you called these? The I, scrapers? I think I call them scrapey thingies. So they're palette knives. Uh, yeah. So they like they mix the paint up. And you can also apply the paint on the canvases. Okay. Yeah. I mean I never really use them. I always mix with my paint brushes, which is a really, really bad thing to do. You did you did good. I'm very proud of you. Okay, so I am really looking forward to trying these out. So yeah, I'm gonna get started using these art supplies and let's get started. Okay, we have our paddle. So I'm gonna make a skinny pizza. What I'll probably do is do like the little pizza here and then maybe a couple different ingredients going up there. Also, yes, I am using a pencil. This is actually one of mine that I'm gonna be releasing on my website very soon. I need to do a sketch. So we're gonna use this to start off. It's kind of awkward. Maybe if I, there we go. I was gonna use a cup or something to get a perfect circle, but then I remembered it's a pizza and the crust is kind of all over the place. So I've decided not to worry about it too much. I'm really excited to use this. It is such a pretty color. It's stunning. It looks very Christmassy to me, but I'm gonna try and use this on some parts. I'm not sure if it's gonna work over the Poskas because it'll say it's a stain. I might try it on the side of this box. So directions, test small area before use. Apply with a natural fiber or synthetic brush and let dry. Oh, <gasps> wow. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ah, oh, it kind of, it kind of ruined it. It doesn't look as good when you actually like spread it out. It looks more pink than red. I'm wondering you could probably layer it because you can usual stain. I'm curious though, if I tried to use a Posca marker, if it would work over the top. We are somewhat limited in color. It may look a bit strange at first. I'm just gonna use the brown for the crust. It's gonna be a somewhat burnt pizza, but that is totally fine. Some people like that. Thank you. 
This is very bright cheese. It's almost like neon cheese. a little bit of texture. I'm not sure if these lines make this look like a balloon or if I'm just seeing that strangely. Okay, I really want to do an outline, but I'm not sure if the blue, I feel like blue would look quite good, but then I'm undecided if maybe green would look better. Or maybe even purple. Probably purple just because it's a complementary color. Okay, this is where I could really mess it up badly. Okay, I'm now at that stage with my art where I'm like, I like how it looks, but I could improve it, but I also could make it worse. So I'm gonna try and at least work on these mushrooms here. Maybe I could add drips of cheese. That could be quite fun because this area is kind of plain. So maybe if I add a bit of melted cheese here, maybe another pepper, that could finish it off quite nicely. Okay, it's the next day now and I've just come back and looked at this and I've done that thing where you stare at something for so long and you think it looks good. Then you come back to it the next day and you're like, this is terrible. I think it's because it's more simplistic than my usual style. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not feeling it. Like I was going for a nice, simple, bright, illustrative style with these pens, but I don't know. I seem to have lost the yellow. Oh, it's right here. I think it's time we use the unicorn spit. I'm gonna attempt to use it on top of the pepperoni to see if it kind of gives it that little bit of oomph. And then we're gonna use one of these beautiful paintbrushes here. I wonder which paintbrush I should choose. Should I choose the glue covered paintbrush or should I choose this one with the wiry hair? Maybe I should just play it safe and try this one. My goodness, that is a terrible paintbrush. I'm gonna dip this brush into water to try and get rid of the hard cast that it has. It's not unusual for some brushes to kind of have a slight glue to them just to hold them together. This actually looks way better being over the top of an already red area versus just on pure wood because it kind of turned pink but this is actually looking quite nice. It kind of gave it a nice vibrancy. I certainly wouldn't stain the whole bare wood though, because I feel like that would look really weird. <laughs> um, okay. I kind of want to use my galaxy glitter. Okay, let's try the green deco art galaxy glitter. Here, I'll use another one of these weird brushes just to say that I used it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a top coat. Very much so a top coat. Clearly not very pigmented, but it adds a nice touch. I'm gonna pull out these better brushes. These, oh, they're all angle brushes too, okay. I'm very worried this is gonna ruin it. <laughs> oh, I just had an idea. We could put garnishing on this pizza, but which color? Maybe green, maybe green garnish. Would that ruin it? Maybe 
maybe I'll cheat a little bit and spread it out. I don't know if this is cheating or if this is just innovative thinking, because I mean, it's acrylic paint. So technically, if I want to apply it like that, I can. When in doubt, outline it out. And then if you make it look worse, then you can cry. Yeah, I'm not sure about the cheese. Uh, it's not that cute. So I spent a few more minutes on it and this is how it looks. I may keep working on this in the future, I'm not too sure. And here is me showing it to my boyfriend and his reaction. Okay, so I'm just about to show I'm about to show him. Whoa. I was right ahead of it you upside so down. Cool. Oh my goodness. You did such a good job. I see you made good use of the unicorn spit. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> you can keep it. Awesome. Thank you. I'll hang it on my wall. <laughs> like you did with that one. Right, right next to Old Golden Brash. <laughs> and also this one that he put on his wall. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to my boyfriend for picking these art supplies for me. I had a huge amount of fun. But yeah, this is how it turned out. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.